Hey, what's up, everybody? Here we are back again with RE3, and today we're going to show you uh, one of the newer features of RE3, and that's the preloaded clip art. It's already loaded there in your RE3 software now. Over here on the left, you see your workspaces where you have your current project and the layers of that project, but right next to it, you'll see a new icon or a new tab called clip art. Now, that clip art contains all of these different types of uh, pre-made uh, vector shapes in there. They have everything from like your basic shapes, uh, different danger signs, a lot of your uh, favorite emojis. Uh, we even have some full spectrum laser uh, branded things up there if you ever want to uh, label your Muse uh, or full spectrum items. We have some funny face things. You can uh, assemble you know, different funny faces on things. Uh, we even have included the material test where if you want to uh, test out your uh, material settings, um, this is a great file to use to get your uh, material dialed in. Uh, there's some decent, uh, uh, sorry, um, some decent. Uh, they're terrific plaque shapes here, just some real basic ones uh, if you want to make a plaque or a ward. Even some shields if you wanted to do some coat of arms or uh, uh, family heirloom type things. Uh, we have some of your basic sport shapes in here, uh, as well as even some real fun travel shapes that uh, Walker has designed and included in here. So let's say you wanted to use one of these files uh, for use. Uh, and actually one of my favorite ones is this uh, map of the United States. You just take it and drag it inside and then you can uh, resize it uh, to be any size you, you need it to be. Now it doesn't matter if you're using a Muse Hobby Laser or a PS48 laser system, uh, you can make it as big as you want. The reason why I love this United States uh, is you can actually come and take individual states uh, out from it and uh, use them uh, individually. So let's say I just, uh, I guess that's what, North Dakota there? Let's say I just wanted to have the North Dakota shape. I can take just the North Dakota shape, but Michigan's not connected. Uh, let's say I just want to take Michigan. Yeah, see the Lower Peninsula disconnected from the Upper Peninsula. All you youpers up there, we're sorry. We know you're really Michigan too. Uh, but as you can see, oh, it looks like I actually disconnected the little, uh, I forget what the island that is up there, but as you can see, all the different individual uh, states can be taken and plucked out and used. Uh, even Hawaii and Alaska are included here. Uh, what's even cooler is that if you cut this all out, it works together like a puzzle too. So you can actually make a puzzle out of this um, really easily. Uh, as well. Now, the other, I guess, thing I wanted to show you guys before we get out of here is that you actually get two bits of data with this. Uh, let's say you wanted to use one of the emojis. That's one that everyone loves using. Uh, let's use this emoji right here. So now this emoji is giving you two bits of uh, information that you can use. Now, the first bit is obviously the, um, the vector lines on here, which uh, if we check here, there is the outer vector line of this, but we can also do is engrave uh, this black area for uh, just basic engraving. So you don't necessarily have to uh, do a vector cutout. You can actually just use these to engrave or highlight things. Uh, one of the things that we have loved to do here is take uh, basic photos and um, I guess you'd say enhance them a little bit using some of the clip art. Now this is a uh, photo of one of our uh, designers here, our lead designer actually, Walker, and we'll show you how we can take his image, which he just has that perfect Instagram face. He's just really good at puckering up for the uh, the camera. Um, uh, we appreciate Walker always playing along for us as he uh, poses for photos for these uh, demos. Uh, but if we go to the clip art, we can actually go over to the funny faces icon. And if we want to throw some Harry Potter specs on him, we can. Um, Walker used to have a beard that rivaled this actually, but we could drag a beard onto Walker's face if we wanted to even give Walker a slightly different uh, hairdo if we wanted. Now, those are all just kind of fun things you can do to enhance the things you're already doing or to do uh, real quick engravings uh, for people if you're ever using your machine at a trade show. Uh, but again, this is uh, just a clip art, a new feature here added at RE3. This is loaded on every single RE3 system if you have the current update. Uh, I don't want to quote the current update right now because it could have been up uh, to another one, uh, but this was uh, first put on the version 1.8 uh, RE3 software. So if you have a uh, 1.8 or above, you should have the clip art loaded on your system. And again, just easily drag and drop from the less, uh, left side. You can even uh, go ahead and put your favorite laser company's name, uh, logo, uh, laser machine, or full logo anywhere uh, you want if you wanted. Uh, but again, that's using clip art here uh, on RE3. Really hope this helped. Uh, if you're looking for some more RE3 tutorials, check out these other videos over here to the uh, left and right uh, for more help. Uh, if not, check out our Laser 101 uh, section of our website, which is laser101.fslaser.com. Really hope this helped, guys. We'll see you in the next video.